make sure it's going to the right channel. Okay, go to videos, reboot, reboot. Oh, I see live. Oh, uh, snap. Are we in there? Hold on. I'm trying to hear. Yo. It says live now. Say something? Something. I can hear. Okay, I can hear right. me. I can hear you. All right. Let me hear how loud the game is. Okay. I got to hear the game audio real quick. For anyone seeing, we're doing the test before we start the sh live shenanigans. Hold up. Okay. No, that makes sense. All right. What's up, people? It's your boy DC19. Oh, God. Why do I keep doing that? What's up, people? It's Dark Cloud Sign, uh, <laughs> and it's Takoon. Um, we're doing something a little different. Um, there's still going to be a podcast next week. So what we're doing is a roundup conversation. This is a new sporadic thing that Takoon didn't even know about. It's Nintendo Roundup. Any type of late news, anything that happened recently, like the directs and stuff like that. Because what I want to do with the podcast, I want to get multiple opportunities of other people like Blandrew, uh, Black Baron, Neo Spark, and we're probably going to change it and not be able to do a Saturday due to Neo Spark's working schedule. And, you know, if Ultra can make it, but we're going to do things a little different. Uh, we are going to do live gameplay as usual. But today we decided to show y'all what's up with the uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment Nintendo... Bro, did you you remember when they said the name Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online? That is the whole name. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Takun, uh, tell everybody, you know, say what's up. What do you what you've been playing? What's going on, guys? Uh, this is Takun. I have my YouTube channel, Takun Hiwatari. Lately, I've been playing Monster Hunter World Iceborne that just came out yesterday. I've already put in a bit of work in that game, and I just recently here, earlier today, uploaded a video for the Damon X Machina demo, and the next mission I played after that demo was the end of the demo, so I went ahead and ran through that too. Um, TLDR, if you didn't watch the video, it it's good. Get it. Play it. Yeah, It's fun. Uh, also, um, I just beat uh, Astral Chain, and I will be doing a live commentary review of the game uh something different you know uh anyone has questions that doesn't have the game menu system combat style what you can buy at the shop things like that play style just overall in general so it's going to be live just like this by the way i'm loving my new layout uh so i learned yeah, how to like nice. i learned how to uh like a png uh crop uh so i've just been like going ham like unnecessarily cropping stuff for the right corner of things but uh what i want to say is everyone that's here and anyone that comes in what i want you guys to do is for all the new subscribers I, the only way that the channel is going to be built and the only way you guys are going to see what's going on because youtube's algorithm is horrendous please hit the like subscribe make sure you comment but the most important thing hit that notification bell if you don't hit that notification bell you are not going to see our latest videos. YouTube is going to bury us in the ground, especially if a video gets demonetized because we don't have a partnership yet with anyone. It's just going to go deeper into the barrel of nothing. Um, so we're going to be playing some Super Nintendo, um, Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online games. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and um, this is gonna be rough. I can already tell. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Uh, so we're gonna be go through like some random games and just talk about like the topics of. Uh, uh, real quick, you want to run through topics just in case if we have anyone that does like uh, timestamps. Sure. So uh, no particular order, but some of the topics we have here today is um well at this uh this right here SNES and NES online games. Oh accidentally hit my desk uh they're no longer going to be released like on a monthly schedule uh, nintendo said they're basically just going to release it whenever they get to it which uh we'll, we'll get to that we'll get to that uh mm -hmm. second topic again no order we'll get to these when we get to these let's see 
anyone see the first look at a new experience for Nintendo Switch? Oh, uh, yeah. We're definitely going to talk about, about that. that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, let's see, so, some smaller topics like a Digimon story, Cyber Sloth, Cyber Sleuth. I don't even know how to pronounce that. The Cy you said edition, it, Cyber Sleuth. It's Sleuth. Cyber Sleuth, yeah. Uh, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I think they're already out in Japan. Or no, coming to Japan. And we have a patent for a new Joy-Con controller. So we got some we got some stuff, and it's interesting that they just had the direct like literally days ago, mm -hmm. and we still have all these new topics here to talk about. It, and I'm sure if I look harder, crazy. there's a couple more. But you know, those are the ones I picked out. Yeah. Uh, so for everybody, I think we're gonna start off a little different. Uh, hold on a minute. Is Super Mario Kart um, two players? Yes, it is. Oh, man. Oh, I, you're going to expose me. I suck so bad at this game. Dude, I'm terrible at this game too, man. Welcome to the world. Bro, I'm actual trash at this game. I just uh, tried playing it like... Bro, I'm actual before trash yesterday, too. And I was like, how did anyone play this game? <laughs> bro. Uh, <laughs> Who thought this was hype enough to get a sequel? Because it was, it was rough. It did well. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, in the meanwhile, while we do this, if there's anyone live in the comments section, I know it's a new channel. Some people are busy, and it's a Saturday, so you're going to go out and uh, get some drinks, get a little drunk, come home, and then play uh, play with your Nintendo character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, so first topic on the docket is while we play the Nintendo Switch, uh, the Switch on, I'm not even going to try to say it without the title in front of me. Um <laughs> I'm gonna talk about that new look from uh, Nintendo. That, the trailer. What the hell is Nintendo doing? I, I don't know, man. I already made a video about it on this channel, actually. Uh, oh, I don't dude. even know how to go. Yeah, there's oh, like no jump know. button. This is horrible. You're doing better than me, bro. Wait. Oh, there is a jump button. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm I'm dead last. Like I'm worse. Oh my, oh bro, how do I, how do I back up? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, yo, you're like all up in the freaking like, uh, at least I'm in sixth place. Anyways, so, <laughs> yo, all right, so. Uh, was there a reverse button? Somebody in chat, let me know. I, gosh, the chat screen's so far away, I wouldn't, this place would be over for Yo, oh my god, yo. Hey, at least you got a red shell, you can hit somebody oh back goodness. there. How do I even use it? I don't, I don't know how to use any. Uh, oh, okay, A button. I forgot the that the button. yeah the Super Nintendo had multiple buttons and it had left and right triggers. Oh, fuck. I, I mean bumpers, okay. left and right bumpers, bumpers. Oh, I'm in oh. second place. I'm in third. I see the gamer in me, bro. And I'm picking up the slides. What? To be fair, Super Nintendo was like before I was allowed to play video games. <laughs> oh my God! Here are the excuses. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can fire from behind you from all this way early in the game if you press down on the D-pad and press A to fire. Oh, my goodness. Fucked my life. All right, I'm second place. Oh, I got tripped on a banana. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're going to have to play something where we can mindlessly play, bro. Dude, yeah, I came first. This isn't it, fam. I this came isn't first. It. Savage status. I am in fourth. So, <laughs> that's actually better than I thought I'd be. <laughs> All right, bro, let, let's get out of here. Go do okay, something different. Okay. Let's go back to where we are at earlier. Bra oh, uh, Brawl Brothers. All right, All anyhow, right. so <laughs> this new Nintendo take, um, no one checked it out. It's on their Twitter, and it's also on the Nintendo YouTube channel, where basically it's, uh, it's horrible, ladies and gentlemen. It looks rough. It's horrible. Hold on a minute. Let me see you. I don't, I'm not really good with this OBS stuff, but let's see. Let's go to Nintendo.com. Nintendo.com. Uh, is it here? Oh, it might be on their YouTube channel. Hold on. Yeah, it's on their YouTube channel. All right. Nintendo. Yeah, but when I saw it, I was like, I was asking myself, what is this? What are they looking, what are the people on screen looking at? Yeah, it's. It is a very odd reveal, to say the least. I already uh, discussed it in the video we have posted on the channel, but there's no gameplay, there's no screenshots, there's, like I said, not even a logo of a pending title. 
there's nothing except the people like bending and twisting and like you know holding a ring over their head and then someone strapped a Joy-Con to their thigh, and... Yeah, so it, here it, it's playing right now. Oh, my God. So the, the, there's, like, this stretchy thing that they're all pulling on. Like, oh, let me make this a little larger so everyone can see. They're, like, showing this horrible thing, dude. Like, Jesus. That you put... The, they're putting the Joy-Cons inside of the, inside of the thing. The girl's running. We don't have no idea what they're looking at. There's like a, a hip strap where you put a Joy-Con in one leg. What in the actual hell is this thing? The dude. Okay, so here's the part I don't understand. So the, there's a part where they're they're pushing this rubbery or this elastic thing together, like they're pushing it together. And so how is the Joy-Con supposed to pick up pressure? If I'm not mistaken, the Joy-Con only this on movement. And HC Rumble, how does it pick up pressure? The guy is squeezing it. Like I, I don't, I don't understand that. They're showing Kyoto. There's a dude doing like, there's chicks doing yoga. I don't understand how that works. Like, I mean, maybe the second Joy-Con, maybe it senses both of them instead of just the one. There goes a the part again where this. All right, hold on, let me go back. So there's this chick. She's squeezing the Joy-Cons, and I'm like, hold on, hold on, let me go back. The dad's got the Joy-Con above his head. I don't remember Joy-Cons having... Um, well, they have the infrared, uh, infrared camera. Yeah, but uh, elevated sensitivity? That's the, I don't, There's not a lot of devices that even have that. Gyro controls. I, okay, but what if I, don't ha what if I don't put it over my head? If I, if I just turn Look, it upside man, down? I'm, I'm trying to make sense of it, all right? <laughs> Dude, September, find out more September 12th. I don't know, man. Nintendo being Nintendo, I'm a little scared. <laughs> i don't know 12th. that's coming up here yeah yeah is yeah. this something that they announced it uh isn't the tokyo game show in uh in like the next few days already started uh that's a damn good question i don't think it started yet i i would have seen some nintendo news if it had started yeah no there, there's there i haven't seen anything let's see tokyo game show 2019 schedule all right, so here we're playing Brother... Uh, okay, Girl Tokyo Brothers. Game Show starts on the 12th. Oh, it starts on the 12th. So I wonder if they're going to announce it at Tokyo Game Show and sh and show it off on stage. What if it's what if it's what Capcom's been working on? For... <laughs> what Capcom's been working on? Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Where's the music? Uh, dude, there's no way of actually turning the music down. I don't on or to... off, bro. Mm, all right, we'll turn it off. All right, we'll put it to oh, four. turn off two player hit. <laughs> no, I want to keep that on. People don't know. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> People don't know. All right. Did you crank it up to hard or was it already on hard? It was already on hard. Oh, damn. Hard is the default setting. Yes. Hold on, let me go back and check that out real quick. No, so um, where do where you see? Oh, wow, hold on. Normal. I, I'm playing this on normal. Not no <laughs> savage out here. Yeah, yeah we, we were playing this for a few minutes before we started the stream, and uh, hard hard was definitely hard. Yeah. So like ten dudes with shotguns started showing up. I'm like, what? Yeah, this <laughs> is like the. Was it or was it? No, it's, it's hard to tell. For this some was of these older the games. ultimate like copy of. Uh, well, then again, I can't oh. say this because this game's old as hell. I don't know if this came out before. You're um, playing that dude? Yeah, I'm playing that dude. Okay. I don't know I'll if this came this out guy. before. Um, Dragon, no, Double Dragon came out on the on the NES, bro. Yeah, Double Dragon's older. Yeah, well, this is a blatant ripoff. But yeah, that that whole Nintendo, it's what was it called? Nintendo Life? What, what did they call it? What? The, the whatever this thing is, it doesn't have a name. Oh, it doesn't have a name yet. The video is just titled a first look at a new experience for Nintendo Switch. Dude, you guys remember back in the day where you can actually hit your own player, your own teammates? This this has it. So, I mean, while we're here, um, look at that. <laughs> so, while <laughs> we're here... Thank you for demonstrating that mechanic, Cloud. Yeah, while we're here, um, the Super Nintendo games, I mean... When you look at like where we came from when the the NES, 
Bro, we came from. It's been. It's. It was a long. Oh, A is for your special. Oh. Yeah, but special is eaten to your health bar. I mean, yeah. it would back in the day. You know. That's be, that's how a lot of the fighting games or beat 'em up games were back in the day. Yeah, I'm. I, it's so cool that they added online, and you. It makes. It only makes sense that they should be able to do that. I mean, everything. Everybody was on the same screen, unless you were playing like Super Mario Brothers, where. It was just one person per per turn. Look at yeah. this guy. He has a shotgun. He hasn't shot me yet. He's kicking me instead. You can bring a gun to a gunfight and you hit me with a... You kick me. Get up. Oh, my goodness. Look at the animation. The way your elbow twist. <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, my God. Look at your... El the human hand cannot flip that way. Hold on. Hold on. Check it out. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know. Oh man. Oh man, this is rough. Um, yeah. Gosh. All right. We we actually need to actually uh, start talking about. That. Okay, I got hit by a shotgun. You know, lights Wait. on fire. Apparently. Wait. He's got the fire shells. So hold on, hold on. There was a pe there was a drumstick on the floor, and I picked mm. up the drumstick instead of using it immediately. Like, <laughs> I was just walking around holding the drumstick, and then when I hit went to hit again, he ate it. Like. Failed mechanics in video games. People enjoy the evolution in video games because <laughs> we're definitely taking them for granted. We're reli reliving the good old days, so you guys want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, the Super Nintendo thing. Uh, you we were saying that um, Nintendo is not going to do um like uh, announce release or they're not going to do them. Uh, how do you say they were going to do the releasing? Uh, they're not going to have a scheduled release anymore. Gosh, I got shut off screen. Uh, basically, they'll get to it when they get to it. And what I was going to say earlier is we don't know if this is going to be like longer release times or maybe they could do multiple releases within a month. So we have no idea yet. But knowing Nintendo, it's probably going to take longer. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Which uh, I wish they would just have like a steady pace that they would announce things at. Yeah. And somehow games like this made it over some of the more I games. Wish like, they look, would explain that. Check it out. I, I got the drumstick in my hand and I could still kick and hit people. Why not just eat it the immediately the moment I pick it up? I don't know, maybe there's a button for that that we don't know. Uh, huh? I'm guessing oh. they want you to hold on to it and use it when you're ready. Hold on to your meat while you're ready, people. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Maybe he's getting shot like he's off screen. It's, it's terrible. You gotta jump over the bullets, man. So he was literally only shooting the floor. Yeah. But I like the way they're going with this. Uh, the only question is when it comes to obviously this becoming the virtual console area. Do you? I was saying to myself, do you virtually think that it's better to do this way or do you think nintendo is eventually at some point going to do virtual console games still to make revenue because 20 dollars a month versus what were they charging like 7.99 a year yeah 20 dollars a year versus 7.99 per game or 4.99 per game back in the day like do you think that that was like uh that obviously that's more money for them but do you think that's a, a Maybe they're doing this because they can't. They know, primarily, they cannot sit there and ask anyone to rebuy games that they've already had before on the on the Wii Shop, and then they they close the Wii Shop and you can't get those games back anymore. So they're doing this in a in, a, in like a way. Do you see him giving me a back rub? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> yeah, he just picked, he was basically shaking you around, man. He he was. He's shaking uh, you to death. He, he worked out a few of the kinks. All right. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know what business model is actually better. Like, mm -hmm. on paper, it would seem like the virtual console is people pay, you know, anywhere from like five to eight bucks for um, at least the SNES and uh, NES games. And then uh, $20 a year for online. That's a, oh, my bad. No, you good. That's a steal by comparison if we're just looking at numbers. But uh, the library they have for virtual console vastly different. Two completely different beasts. 
Yeah, that's mm-hmm. because they gave you everything up front, and then they added things later on after getting the kinks out for it. But that's different, though. Like, what I guess what you're saying, it, it's it's there's way more stuff. If you look at the SNE, uh, the NES, the NES library, it's good, but it's not all of the best games that ever came out. Is, Me- oh, is Metal Gear even on there? Um, I don't remember. We could fire it up after we use all of our lives here. We don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> Oh, damn, I thought I was you for a second. That was, gosh. Yeah. Because we were playing the other characters earlier. I was the Gambit-looking dude, and Cloud was this ninja. So, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, back in the day, you used to get pissed at your sibling for killing you and using a life. This is perfect oh, yeah. example, bro. And when you Basically. died, you started all the way over. There was no checkpoint. Yep, basically, basically. So um, back on the topic, what I don't understand is why the Switch Online, um, the library of the games, isn't starting out the gate with the same library that the Wii U ended with. See, because before the transition from Wii, there was some work that had to be done for these games uh, to you know, make them work on HD TVs and consoles. Mm-hmm. But the Wii U is a HD system, so there's no excuse to not have the full library of the Wii U virtual console like swinging out the gate. That is true. Uh, I mean, so, you think about it, like we were talking about like value proposition and all that. Yeah, these games are old. They they're obviously they're not they're not going to be pennies on the dollar. So they have they would have sold them for like four or three dollars a pop, and they would have made more money that way. But that's the thing, though. You have how many 50 you almost have 40 million switches out there and everybody that wants to play online you may get 13 million people that pay for switch online and that's way more revenue um because and then we got game hopefully we have super nintendo and gamecube coming and i'm telling you right now if super Nin- all right i'm done with this game <laughs> you mean N64 and GameCube? But, um... Yeah, I hope N64. I, I I don't know, man. I've been I've been fiending for uh, uh, a GameCube uh, classic to drop. I, I could care less about a uh, N64, man. They're they're sitting on this huge library of games and just doing nothing with it. And after they shut down all the ROM stuff too, so. It was a weird move for them to go about doing that and then get no way to play a good majority of those games. Oh, snap. Did Does this game one? even have two-player? Uh, looks like you in single-player right now, homeboy. Uh, that I know. Hold up. Yes, give up. Okay. I guess all right, start. Oh, man. Practice Grand Prix? Select. Oh, yeah, this game doesn't have two player. Okay. Oh, wow. Bro, it's been I so long know. since I've played that. It's been that long. Kirby's got to have multiplayer. What? No, maybe not. I don't think so. I don't think they started. I don't think it had it back then. Yeah. Look at us not knowing anything about Nintendo's history. <laughs> I do remember this playing the hell out of this game as a kid, though. Oh yeah, yeah, this does not have two player, man. All right, go, dude. Stunt race. Oh man, another. Why are there so many racing games on the SNES? Because that's like the Switch. biggest thing for online. You know, showing off the online. Gosh dang. There's F Zero. There's Mario Kart. There's whatever this is. Uh, speed tracks. Yeah, we'll do speed tracks. I'm gonna mm-hmm. get the little guy. Yeah. My name's gonna be AA. Wait, I didn't pick you. Wait, what is going on? Hold on, hold on. Mmm. Look at us, can't even figure out how to get the multiplayer. What is this? Hold on, hold on. This got there was no back button? Oh my god. No. <laughs> what is this? We're gonna run through the whole library of games before this is done. Oh my god, bro, like I, I see why they always you ever see the way that they do those like um they they introduce kids to like new new games yeah uh like 
one of the things that they showed off was like back in the day hold on can i click this can i click that what what is that test run i hate this game <laughs> this is the screen you play on oh my god if i was well, to hand my back at the son this menu, change the option to adjust the screen. oh my what is this frame rate what oh my <laughs> god Okay. Nintendo out of all the games. Nintendo decided to put what this on there. What is this, bro? Hold on, hold on. There's a boost button. Where's the boost at? Wait, hold on. What am I doing? Somehow this is better than Donkey Kong Country. Oh my god, like and some dude on Game Explain was excited for this game. You're joking, right? I swear to god. All right, yeah. I can't I'm be done. Real. I'm done. If that's nostalgia, that's the only reason. You call it nostalgia all you want. It's definitely not for me. Yeah, but all staying right. staying on topic, uh, SNES games, you know, they're great. Uh, we'll do tennis. That I know is two players. <laughs> oh, boy. It'll be just like tomorrow tennis aces. Hey, man, this is where it originated. I don't think... Did any... Was there any, like... Mario or like tennis or soccer games at the time, bro. Like my aging, I don't remember, man. Uh, the first Mario Tennis was on sixty-four. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Hold on. Who you got, Cloud? I picked the chick. Jamie? Yeah. All right, your gotta, boy. I gotta pick some, put some diversity in there. Yo, I'm playing as Rich. Oh man, this dude looks white as hell. We'll do one set. Oh boy. Uh, lawn. Yeah, yeah, we'll do we'll do it on the hard surface, bro. All right. We don't even know the controls yet, do we? I. Uh, do we need to? It's it's only gonna be a few know. of them. Oh, got it. Got. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh, is that you messing up? Oh man. I, uh, wait, hold up. My fault? Oh. Oh my goodness. Buzzery. Oh. oh you suck. Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this match. Anyways. Ah, fault on who? On you. Oh. Uh, hold on, hold on. I got, I can't. There it is. Got him. Okay. I figured it right. out. You won that game, right? Oh, no. No, no. Come on, man. I got to wait. There. Got him. Oh, got me. Deuce. You got mm. me. No. Game. Oh. I never understand tennis. Oh, fall. <laughs> never understand tennis, man. Come on. There we go. Oh, you got me. You got me. Back to Deuce. You gotta get two gotta get two serves yeah. on me. Oh, got, got him. Me. Gotta time I mean, it, man. I almost feel like losing just to make this game end. <laughs> Oof. You tried. <laughs> uh, you you can have that W. Oh my god. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> Again, as you can see here, the options of games, aside from Nintendo's uh, own single-player stuff, is not the best showcase this? of Super Nintendo. S Super Metroid, Yoshi Land, uh, Yo Super Mario World, Yoshi Land 2, uh, what is it called? Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Super Mario World, what else? I mean, some of these Star are still Fox. bangers. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Kirby's Dream Land 2, yeah, Kirby's Breath Dream of Force, Breath of Fire. Yeah. That's That's awesome. Um, I don't know what the hell Demon's Crest has never played it. Uh, Whatever. Either. The only reason I couldn't play this is because my mom, my grandmother bought me my Super Nintendo. Oh. I couldn't have any games that had demons on Nobody's it. Nobody's grandma would let anyone play that game. Yeah, <laughs> not going to happen. But yeah, man. Um, dude, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't want to play anything else. <laughs> yeah, right. so... Uh, let's see. Do you want to go back, check the NES library, or... Yeah, let's go check the NES library. Play Diablo. <laughs>
Uh, let's jump back in the Monster Hunter, dude. Ah, uh, Monster Hunter's not mindless, man. <laughs> we definitely did mindless on it. Alright, alright. Alright. Do we even remember where we at with our Oh yeah, we just topics? we just did uh Super NES, we're talking about Super NES. Uh and we were basically saying that, you know, like I I wonder I'm wondering when they're gonna do um what do you call it? When they're gonna do um N sixty four on Super Nintendo. Are we gonna have to wait for another year of uh your subscription is about to be uh, done? so that they can reap the benefits because i feel like that's what they're doing they're waiting they get they get twenty dollars from everybody or for me 39 30 or 39 or 35 dollars from everybody for an entire okay. year and then if you want to play the next years of super nintendo or nintendo online games you basically will pay another 35 or 40 bucks or 20 bucks to basically play those games or are they going to basically drop those games into the switch more more frequently because i feel like they're they're purposely releasing games later on purpose i mean yeah they could be doing that what i if they're going that route what i think would happen between uh, this year and next year is that we'd get n64 at some point in the middle and if they hey, hold really on, the game, the game's to... super loud. I gotta turn down the end game. I'm still not okay. still not used to this OBS shenanigans. Someone's gonna have to give me like a tutorial on how to turn down the uh, Avert Media card because it's capturing it from desktop instead of Avert uh... Media stream. I never understand why it's doing that. Hold on, let me see something. Alright. Avert Media. Capture, use desktop. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna leave that alone. But I will go in here. Options. Music off. Sound effects one. All right. Start that room up. Yeah, but I feel like they're waiting yeah, the in an. Up. I feel like they're waiting in an entire year, just to basically say, hey, if you want to play the new game, uh, on the eShop, we're bringing you N uh, Super N uh, N64 games. You gotta get. You gotta pay for another year. So yeah. See, what I was saying was uh, that. I think if they're doing that between here and next year, at some point in the middle, we'll get N64. But then at the one year mark, they'd surprise us with GameCube. That'd be dope. I guess. I guess. What uh, do you mean you guess? That'd be amazing. It would, but I don't want to wait a whole year, bro. <laughs> I, I really don't. I don't want to wait a whole year. I feel like they're doing that on purpose to hold us pigeonhole us to keep paying frequently yearly and mm. i'm not a fan of that yeah you I know mean, I can see that. it's 20 bucks a year to play games online that you made me play for a whole year and didn't have to pay anything but you're giving me super old games like for instance bro those games that we just played let me i dare nintendo to for me to try to offer those games to my son and you know he's gonna say dad what is this like that stunt racing game Oh, he'll probably be like, I don't want the Switch anymore. Can I get a, a PlayStation, please? This I, this is definitely not for me. Yeah, it's a hard sell for some of the games that they picked out. And I wish I knew the logic behind some of those choices. <laughs> you and me both, dude. Uh, right. I definitely want to know the logic. Um, You said that there were some games coming out. Uh, Dragon Quest Eleven. I mean, not Dragon Quest. Uh, it's obviously coming. But uh, Dragon Quest One, Two, and 3? Yep. It's coming out to Japan. So, uh, real quick, I know we got, I know we, the last time we did our our live stream, but there's a bonus reward for it today. So, we're hunting it. Uh, what's that? It's a Glavinus. Oh, uh -huh. there we go. Hold on. I want to see what's on Nintendo's page if they're, if they're going to actually show this. Or is it Nintendo Japan? They have a Nintendo Japan YouTube channel, don't they? Yeah, it should be on Japan's page because it wasn't for uh, anywhere else yet. Oh my god. I can't read any of this. Oh, they got something live right now. Really? Mm hmm. I don't know what they got live. I can't read what the hell that is. Huh. 
Well, it's uh, the Dragon Quest stuff is not. They released new amiibos. Um, mm-hmm. Kirby, Kirby uh, amiibos. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I think we talked about this. We played that uh, Kirby's cl- uh, Castle Clash. Uh, yeah. So, what is it called? Hold on. I'll it's check. Castle Clash. Yeah. No, it just says Super Kirby Clash. Uh, Super Kirby Clash. Yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know. It's it's free. I get. I, I wonder if they're gonna go that route where they're gonna re- they're gonna have their teams develop free um games to basically keep you from playing. What I think they need to do is create an online multiplayer shooter from one of their studios like let's say a metroid online shooter Mm, i've been saying that and let that be free but it's only online multiplayer and you can only play it if you have an online account that's that's what i i think they should do yeah they should go that route yeah um but what else what else were they coming out with uh, what else are they coming out with? Wait, what? Um, uh, other than, because uh, you said there was one more, uh, one or two more announcements other than that. Wait, how did anyone else enter the hub? I set up a, oh, I didn't set up a password, did I? Uh, whatever, they could play with us. Okay, no, he left the hub. Uh, he saw my level, he's like, oh, they're, they're hunting soft stuff. Probably. Yeah, it's whatever. Um... Dragon Quest. Uh, what else was there? You you mentioned a few different things. Um, uh, what else is on the docket? We went over um the Digimon game uh, is on the horizon. Yeah. Oh no, super important. Um, there has been updates. Uh, if you go to Digital Foundry, there's been information about uh, what is uh Overwatch being 900p yes. once it's docked and 720p on the display. But there's a there's a there's an issue with that. Uh, you're going to only get 30 frames per second. Yeah, and if it's a locked 30, like it doesn't adjust at all, uh, that could be fine. Obviously, with something like Overwatch, you would definitely want 60. That's what I'm saying, and that's the thing is there. I I guess Bl- Blizzard is going with the like the fan base, like oh the fans like this game, so they're gonna buy it regardless. When I think to myself that when you got a game that looks as good as paladins it's free and it's 60 you may get some gamers that say "Uh, i don't care dude i'm not playing a shooter like that at 30 frames per second especially when you're paying for it especially Mm. when you're paying for it dude where's this glavinos i've got your plugs ah you good man but I don't know how to how to take that. I get I get I get it. The game looks pretty. It's a pretty looking game. It's not one of those games that gets uh, bumped over, um, and then it just just sucks. Uh, I will say playing um the Di- um not Diablo um Doom on um on Switch at thirty. It's not that big of a deal. I don't the, the multiplayer was also thirty, correct? And we put some time into that. As a matter of fact, I burnt out a Switch on that one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was also thirty, and yeah. it was fun. It was playable. I don't know, but when you um, what else is uh thirty FPS multiplayer wise? Is Smite sixty or thirty? Ooh, I don't play Smite. Couldn't tell you. Oh man, you 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 failed me. You failed me. I'm sorry, man. There's there's too many other games. Yeah. Like like this, like this hold game right on, here. Hold on, hold on. I'm live, guys. Yeah, this game is 30. Um, I would love to have seen. Is this uh, game 30? Yeah. I would love to have seen this game at 60, especially on the Switch. There was no reason for it to be to be 30. Um, it should definitely be 60, and I think Nintendo should have done better. Dude, I I completely forgot how to mount these things. Oh, you just hold down the button since you can't jump. Slash when they're not moving. Yep, I figured. Oh, what are you doing? Hold on, grab, grab. Got there him. Go. Yeah. It's been a minute since I played this. Yeah. 
and these damn side monsters are just being annoying. Ooh, like, I like how I knocked him the fuck over. Oh man, I'm not supposed to. Curse. <laughs> yeah, oh man, you let your old ways get in there. Uh, as you can see, I've changed mines to like flabbergasted, fudge cake. Now you just change your words around, man. You know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, also, there's rumors that there might be uh, at Tokyo Game Show that. Capcom might be releasing a uh, a Monster Hunter, a brand new Monster Hunter game for the Nintendo That'd Switch. Um, that would be dope. Um, I wish they would because this game is old. It came out on the three years. I think it's three, almost three years old. Oh, it's older than that. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Actually, it probably is. I know I... it came out on the Switch in Japan two years ago. Yeah, so it's definitely it's definitely old because we had to wait a little bit of time for it. So, granted, again, a game like this coming from the 3DS should not, and I repeat, should not be 30 FPS. There's enough horsepower in the Switch for this game to be 60 FPS on on Switch. So this was a lazy port. This port had like no like backbone done into it. I feel like they just turned on some anti-aliasing. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, oh he missed. Cloud. Uh, he missed. Epic fail. He's got the the Shaquille O'Neal hit on me. Just Ooh. straight misses. <laughs> yeah, but um, other than that, to be completely honest, like the Damon X Machina, um, I I played it for a little bit. I will say this. Damon X Machina is a, for a preferred group of people. Um, I'm I don't know if I'm I'm gonna say I don't like the game. I'm definitely gonna get it to support the the developer. And the reason why I'm getting it to, to support the developer is because I don't want for the developer to see this game and it comes out and it's a flop and they're like ah, I'm done. I'm not gonna make a second one. You know, versus uh, compared to all of what he's basically said and came back to. And redone the game and made the game even better than what it was. We didn't even ask for all of the the things that he added in the game. Uh, like we asked for better controls. He fixed the frame rate, better controls, different mechanics. So I definitely want to support any developer. I get it. Some people like Jack Move is going to say like you know that's his, their job. They're supposed to do stuff like that. But he went above and beyond. And I'm definitely supporting the game. And I'm definitely supporting. I'm going to pick it up. Um, for you, you obviously you put your impressions. Like, what was your takeaway? Like, what do you think about the game? Do you think the game is boring? Do you think it's for a preferred audience? Like, what's your take on that? So it it's not for everyone. No game is. Yeah. But I definitely think that there's a good enough audience. Just that looked nice. Knock out there, oh, and boy. especially after. The Astral Chain crowd came through. Good reviews. The, yeah. you know, everyone bought the game, except me, because I'm trying to trying to manage my money a little better. But, uh, yeah, no, I I think, I think that would be the crowd that should get this game. Should get the Damon. Oh Xbox. my God, I missed. I can't believe I missed. He made me waste my limiter. Oh my god. Come on, just die already. Dude, <laughs> if you pay... I'm pretty sure that if they did like a frame rate test, I don't think this game is a lock 30. The more and more I've been playing PC games and just in general games just keep dropping in frame rate, I don't think this game is um, a lock 30. And that's just lazy porting. But this game? Yeah, because I can you see it drops. I, I'm seeing frame rate drops. I don't know if it's because I'm hooked up to my Avert Media and I'm uploading, um, but that shouldn't be the case. That shouldn't be affecting this. Yeah, because the Avert Media is doing its own thing, and then I have the Switch there. It's not like I'm using a graphics card or something like that. Speaking of graphics card, uh, so the M Classic, um, uh, what is it? Kickstarter has ended. Uh, and they are about to start shipping out in like the next two weeks. I just got an email 
and I cannot wait to get it. I did, however, watch, um, what do you call it? Uh, what's that guy's name again? Um, Review Tech USA. And mm -hmm. he did a review on it, and he basically said that he doesn't see any benefits when it comes to Nintendo Switch. And I beg to differ because there are a lot of other YouTubers that have done their due diligence that have gotten this earlier, like Wolfden, showing off the... Be uh, hold on. Are you playing on any... playing any multiplayer? I was just playing uh, Black Metal. I was just playing some multiplayer... Uh, on uh, Super Nintendo, you you came a little late. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. We're we're over multiplayer on SNES, right? We're, oh we're yeah, <laughs> uh, bro. That's that's another thing. Like, you're paying twenty dollars for this. Like, you gotta play, pay twenty dollars. Paying twenty dollars for something like that, especially with uh, new core gamers, gamers that have been around. Uh, you know, like you know, well versed gamers, seasoned gamers. To go back and play those games based on nostalgia, look at how bored we got immediately. Unless I'm gonna go back and play Breath of uh, uh, Drag um, Dragon it. No, what what is it? Um, Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire, which I do love. Breath of Fire. I love every one of them since three and up. I'm I, I don't think I'm gonna go back and play that one though. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, all of the highlights of the library, uh, Nintendo Switch Online. It's all single player, like none of the multiplayer games, I think, particularly good, or maybe they were good for their time. And now it's just like hard to play like uh, Super Mario Kart. It, yeah, like, it's rough to play that now. <laughs> because and, and, and you think about it, you think it look at Kaj uh, um, Konami. Konami went ahead and pulled Contra. Contra should have been on there as a, as a would have been real nice. That's what I'm saying. But uh, Contra's on the the virtual console for the SNE uh, the, the the NES, but it's not here because Konami wanted to make some bank off of that and they sold the uh, the collection. Yeah, I think maybe that's the reason why some games missing. There's no Castlevania on there because there's a Castlevania collection. Ah, uh, you keep cutting Mana it out. Collection. Okay, I was saying that there's no um, like Mana games on there. There's no. Uh, Castlevania, there's no Street Fighter, and all those have their own collections on Switch. That is true. So, I, I don't know, man. They're... I don't know. I think I think that Nintendo needs to go back into the... into the cabin, into the, the cave, and, and figure something out, because this is cool for some people for the very first, like, few days, uh, or for us, 30 minutes, and then like, mm, trash, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like, basically. You can't hold on to nostalgia for too long. Um, I heard rumors of a, for, uh, they're going to add um, new a new theme to, um, uh, what's it called? Mario Maker 2 for Switch. I'm wondering what the new theme is going to be. Um, I'm hoping it's something cool, so you never know. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to. Okay, Pick I found the plus. settings. I'm. Are you closing yeah, I put it? Yeah, up a passcode. There you go. I will say that. Oh, by the way, my son's Nintendo Switch got Joy-Con drift. Damn, I, still thing. Send it to Nintendo. Uh. Nah, man, he's under warranty. I'm about to swap his out for a brand new one. <laughs> Just give everyone a new switch, huh? Yep. Wait, hold All on. Right. I can't. I can't. Wait. You posted a quest? Oh no, not yet. No, 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 no. I'm. I'm looking through. I'm looking through. Uh, you can go ahead and pick out the next topic while we're waiting. Um. The other than games, you said that there were a few games that were supposed to like come out. We we talked about like the new look. We talked about the SNES. Um, there hasn't been really anything else. Um, if you go to the eShop, there there really isn't much that came out. Can't really open. I'll launch the eShop in the Japanese account. I'm not about to put my password in. Okay, I don't think I have the quest right now because in these older games, these older quests would kind of rotate in and out so sometimes you wouldn't be able to post the quest that you want to but someone already could 
Yeah. Yeah, so I was looking for just a high rank, uh, what's his name, Zenogre. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 I found one. Ah, oh, NBA 2K. Uh, Deadly Premonitions, River City Girls. Those are some of the new games that's already out. Astral Chain. Uh, Risk and Rain. Uh, I still want to check that out. Ooh, hot topic. Uh, apparently, uh, n- Sony went ahead and censored Final Fantasy VIII r- uh, Remaster. Mm-hmm. That's horrible. Uh, they're pointing it out in different scenes where there was a mermaid with a like a harp and she was wearing kind of like a uh, underwear and Nintendo went ahead and uh, I mean Sony went ahead and put a whole skirt on her. Um I don't, I don't what, what's your take on this? Oh, I cannot wait for this to come out. This is going to be my first ulterior game that that I'm going to play. Ulterior uh, Ryza. Uh I can't wait for that. Mm. Mm. Uh there it is. It's coming out on the oh, it comes out the twenty sixth in Japan. It comes out on the around October for us. Damn it, uh, dude. They're Japan they're, get everything early, man. Nah, they're getting The Witcher a few days late. Eh, almost everything. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So you were talking about uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth, and uh, both of them are coming as a as a combo pack. Combo pack with what? Uh, there's two games. There's a uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory. So, uh, or I, oh, okay. Yeah, so sounds it's like two, it'd be worth it. It's two games coming in one. Sounds yeah. like it'd definitely be worth it if you're a Digimon person. Dude, uh, I logged into my we Japanese did account. Did not mention with. And that is that online was lagging. Wow. All right. Yeah. Uh, so Overwatch on the Switch, before I forget, also comes with three months of Nintendo Online. I think they should have left that out. Everyone should already have it. And I don't remember Nintendo giving you the choice of doing... Did, is it? Is there... I, th- I thought it was just 20 bucks or the other one. It was just two different ones. I don't think they gave you like the choice of doing 30 days or anything like that. Mm. No. Uh, although I think you get, isn't it a year? You get a year with Twitch Prime, or that—that that was a thing. That, well, I don't know if it's still running. I, I heard about that. I didn't jump on top of that. I could care less about that. Ooh, <laughs> hot drinks. Oh, I did not re up. You on didn't my, bring no hot drinks. Uh, no, I definitely brought hot drinks, but I didn't re up on my potions. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Slipping cloud, you slipping. Hold on. Is this a? Yeah. But um that's basically almost everything to be honest with you. Um the we talked about this before but the the Super Nintendo um online entertainment system uh the controllers 30 bucks I think it's too steep. That could that, that system is decades old. We shouldn't be asking nobody that much for them regardless if it's wireless. They should be $10 at most. But I'm wondering, is it because two controllers are coming in the pack? I don't think so. I think it's just one. See what I'm saying? I think. I mean, I could be wrong. But uh, there is a pretty important topic we haven't touched on yet. Uh, go ahead, man. That Joy-Con patent. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, the, there's, so apparently there's a hinged Joy-Con uh, patent that uh, just got filed with Nintendo. Um, let me find some more safe and show it to people because a lot of people haven't seen this yet. Let me go. Uh, on the you wall. can't. If we play it online, you can't save. Uh, I don't need to save. I'm hanging on the wall. Ain't nobody gonna touch me. Oh, that's what you think. And yeah. then next thing you know, homeboy. Sh- uh, Actually, no, nah, he's over here. <laughs> uh, switch patent. Here, let me. I'll get his attention up here so he doesn't go down there. Uh, no, not YouTube. Uh, let me go to Google real quick. Cut. Open up a Google page. There it is. All right, I'm going to show this up on screen right quick. Bro, he didn't even roar yet. All right, let me unlock. Show it. 
So yeah, so uh, uh, Nino Cooney is also coming out, but they showed a hinged controller, and the controller being on a hinge, it changes. It doesn't come um, folded like that. Um, there's it basically has like a, an attachment piece, and it could m change uh, according to all these screenshots. You can change the way you play style in a way, and showing hand time on my uh stuff <laughs> <laughs> don't be doing all that uh, yeah they didn't show anything deep but that's just it looks cool i just don't understand the concept of it and just thinking to myself like how i i play the screen is not tilting the screen is still up um i don't know somebody brought up a good point though like if you look at this little shot right here the way it's bent, I don't want to play with the joystick bent over like that. If anything, you know what this gives me remembrance of? The nunchuck. The Wii nunchuck. I mean, yeah, it, it's kind of similar to that. Uh, my theory was, it. if you look at the shape of it, it basically looks like a VR controller. Uh, yeah. Um, according to some people, when it comes to uh, Switch um, VR because of the low resolution and the bad frame rates uh it gets it, it makes people um sick uh some people get motion sickness um that's one of the things that nintendo like you can't you can't do everything on a budget you know when it comes to a cell phone a cell phone has a higher resolution than the switch itself uh, also like the chip inside of it running a little bit more ram um granted mm -hmm. they got some like cheesy games on there but you can't go cheap on VR because all you're doing is messing with people's visions. You know what I'm saying? So Even worse than the 3DS did. Oh. Yeah, so... And this this ain't 3D. This is like straight up VR. I, I think that's a bad idea if this was a focus for that. Um, my thought was maybe a new Switch coming next year with a new controller for more power? I don't know. That would make sense if they really wanted to switch to, you and, know, and, and this... then adding this, um, a new more powerful switch, and then adding this controller for a good VR experience. Okay, yeah, I, I get that. Hold on a sec. Yeah, my son's playing music in the background. I want to get a copyright claim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um... It would, it would make a lot of sense if they did something like that. I personally would love something like that. Um, but, again, the whole VR thing, I hope to God it's not for, like, better VR. Because usually VR controllers tend to have that odd uh, curve hinge shape. If you look at, like, the mm -hmm. Oculus Rift and, and just in general, they all have, like, a weird look to them. The only thing that doesn't have that look are is Nintendo. It's, I mean, PlayStation's, uh, their, their controllers. It just looks like two uh, long shafts with uh, balls on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so... I don't know what other plans they're going to have for that. So that's, that's all I got on that topic. All right, so real quick, um, at this part of the video, it's about uh, almost an hour in. What I want to have us talk about is what we hope for at Tokyo Game Show because Tokyo Game Show to Nintendo is as big as E3 because that's in their homeland and they got to do something to entice their Japanese customer clientele to buy Nintendo Switches. So what do you think they're going to announce or show at Tokyo Game Show? We already got Capcom teasing that they're going to they're going to probably do something for the Switch. So, you know, are we going to see a game from level 5 are we going to see, and if we are, like, what's your dream thing to come out of Japan? Um, a new Monster Hunter. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Other than that, that's like a given. If the, the reason why we keep bringing up Monster Hunter is we've said this before countless times that when it comes to Monster Hunter, the Japan keeps Monster Hunter alive for Capcom. So, and we both know that Japan does not care for home consoles. There are a few that are evolving, and, you know, some of them 
they're they're doing their due diligence to basically to support it to not miss out on their jrpg games um but japan does not care about third party game i mean uh, home console games so it would be it would be behoo of nintendo to basically or capcom to not do something to get the japanese audience excited for their new handheld and from what i remember one of the things i never really saw like big in japan the amount of times i've been there i never see anyone talk about um legend of zelda so it's not like they're expecting for links uh you know um links awakening that's to sell too oh yeah that too yeah <laughs> I, I, I don't I mean, that's another thing breath of the wild 2 gameplay or something yeah that that too that would be dope but I'm, I'm 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 more hopeful for capcom to or ea to come on stage because didn't ea go on stage at tokyo game show and said that they were going to bring out wii games i'm hoping that they announce like the sims but will that reach to the japanese audience i don't know um but it would be something because you know the western um developers are actually uh they watch the show the show is pretty important to the western gamers themselves too um but with that being said i hope that capcom does a new resident evil maybe a resident evil revelations 3 something exclusive to the switch with a new battle style so or, like you said, a new Monster Hunter. Um, what would you want from this new Monster Hunter? So, I would like to, them to have the variety that this game has, while also bringing over some of the new quality of life changes from World. Especially, you know, I mean, there's just too many to list, honestly. I'm not even... World just has a lot of things that... Um, it was just a huge improvement on some of the of hunter so i definitely like to see all that make it over and what else i would also like to see the hunting styles of this game transfer over so kind of like a mesh between this and world yeah to to, to most people that are watching the show that aren't being on a monster hunter um one of the things that uh this game has miles more content than what monster hunter wii U, uh monster hunter world has um, a perfect example of that is let me kill this guy real quick. Ooh, he did not <laughs> die. He definitely well, got hurt though. Kill this guy. Yeah, for instance, Wait. like monsters like this, um, different uh, play styles. This game, this game has more play styles than the Monster Hunter uh, uh, world has. Um, monster oh, yeah, style. Sure. Um, I will say that I have gotten to the concept of not roaming the world to pick up things oh look at uh look at look at this dude yeah look at him he's already charged up. no 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 did you not see who just started playing astral chain but is not here for this the, this uh discussion oh uh, no. baron you son of a you know what wait did baron show up in the chat no he's playing astral chain right now so he has online and oh. he is home for all the people out there baron's ducking and dodging we're gonna get him in here eventually. Uh, just go to go to his Twitter and call him a, a fraud for not showing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I would love to see um, Shin Megami Tensai um gameplay. Oh my goodness, I'm stunned and I can't throw my pranks. Are uh, you trying to catch this dude? I'm yeah. killing him. Uh, you you put him to sleep. Yeah. No, you killed him. Oh, he died in the hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me put this away and carve his face. Car uh, did you carve his tail? Uh, yeah, I've been carved his tail. He came back to die with his tail. That's sad. Damn. He stunned me right when he fell in the trunk, so I couldn't throw my trunks fast. Yeah. Um, who else out there in the development world? Uh, do you think, you know, who makes a lot of games stupid fast? Uh, Tokyo Japan RPG or Tokyo RPG company. Yeah, but I mean, what they're making. Hold on. Difficult by comparison to some of the. Other. Uh, you 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 chipped out there for a sec. Obviously, I said what they're the making places. really isn't particularly difficult in comparison. To... That is true. They are old style RPGs. You know, I'm definitely now that I've beaten, um, 
which I will be uploading up. I uh, will be streaming tomorrow um, my review, um, live review of uh, Astral Chain, and show some Endgame mm-hmm. stuff. But um, I can't think of. I don't know. They when you got games like Astral Chain, you got game uh, like Oninaki. Love. Uh, I want to. I want to go play that, but I got to finish um, as much of Astral Chains for the for the the, the channel. Need the channel to grow. Need you guys to have more content. And as we promised, this is obviously more content that I've put out on my traditional channel because we've merged with some of the most unique, the biggest YouTubers in the Nintendo world. And I'm not talking like Spawn Wave and those guys. I'm talking in general like uh, a lot of the hardcore Nintendo fans that support the Nintendo games. Not saying that uh, Spawn Wave or RG. RGT85. As a matter of fact, I got to reach out to him so he can stop the channel out on his on his channel. Uh, he's a really would cool, be nice. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Um, so we'll see. Um, the only thing, uh, one last thing, there was something that I saw on. By the way, the best place to get Nintendo news other than Nintendo Life is is hold on, Iron Galaxy, uh, SiliconERA.com. I'll post it in the, the the description, so you guys go go check that out. If you've never been on Silicon Era, you definitely need to go there. They show off a lot of stuff. Oh, you know what? I started seeing in the store the Tetris 99 hit stores pretty fast. Uh, so ready in I stores. Think that was today or yesterday? Was it was I, yesterday? Yeah, yeah. I saw it in stores yesterday. Thirty bucks. Um, we yeah. talked about Metacritic's removing the review bombs, uh, right? I don't think we talked about yeah. it on this channel. Oh, wait, wait, no, we even talked about them removing it. Yeah, so here's the, here's the part, the kicker that basically kicked everyone in the face was they removed all the negative reviews but left all the positive. So that they, it's sitting at a 90 user review score because of that. This is this is what happened. This is what haters get for doing this. Um, and you, you know what? We did talk about it because you did talk about what um, the developer said, like, hey, you know, this is a Nintendo IP. If you really want to play this game, go buy a Switch. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. We talked about that. That was during the review. Mm-hmm. Uh, during the removing of the negative review. And if they went through and removed all the negative reviews, there was probably a couple that were legitimate, like uh, criticisms of the game. Yeah. But because everyone was reviewed. They got taken off, so there, there probably crap. was like a small minority there that just, you know, got muted. Tell him Baron. You say Baron. something about Baron? Oh uh, yeah, he he just said that the final boss in the game is hardcore. I'm like, bro, oh, hold on, I said that in the wrong chat. No. Oh. <laughs> So he's yeah. gonna sit here and send us text in the group message, but uh, he ain't available right now, huh? Are we gonna extend this podcast if Baron comes on? Uh, I kind of wanna. If he comes in, I'm gonna give him about like 15 minutes to say what he got to say, and then you know we're out. I kind of want the whole podcast to be. Uh, you know, from beginning, uh, I won't. I don't really call this a podcast. I forgot where I call this uh, round, a weekly roundup. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, if anything, if everyone's not available, me and Takun will do what's called uh, Nintendo Weekly Roundup, Nintendo's News Roundup. Oh, dude, you know what I saw at uh, Starbucks yesterday? I saw. What's that? I have not seen. The, I've yet to ever in my entire high school career everything junior high i've never seen people play pokemon i just saw two adults well i'm, I'm not going to take jabs i saw two guys playing pokemon uh battle at starbucks yesterday it was wild I, i've never seen anything like that in the wild i felt like i was at like a zoo or something <laughs> <laughs> like a what <laughs> Like, I, I've never seen that before. I've never seen people play Pokemon. I mean, oh, uh, goodness, Cloud. I've never seen it, bro. I'm not taking jabs. I, I just never seen it. I did not know that that was a thing that people still, you know, that is the one card game that I've never played before. Oh, wait, was it a card game? Yeah, they were playing the card game. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that is wild. I thought you meant like they were just playing like a Pokemon battle on their no. 3DS or Switch. I'm no. like, dude, what? They were playing but the no, card they're, game. They're playing the card game. That's... You see? Oh, man. That's a different <laughs> beast. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. It's a whole different beast. Oh, look. Baron ain't got nothing to say now. Look, yeah, man. It's fine. <laughs> it's uh, fine. We, I think we covered everything. Yeah, we covered everything. Let me just go through again. Yeah. Uh, let me go yeah. to Silicon Era real quick and see if there's anything that I missed. Um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Divinity. I mean, Divinity. Little Town. I'm hoping to see more Little Town Heroes. When I look at Little Town and I look at the little trailers of Little Town Heroes, I don't think. I, th I feel like that should be a phone game. I don't think there's going to have that much depth to it. I'm just putting that on record now. I don't think there's going to be that much depth to it. I think it's something you play with one hand. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, the Kirby game kind of feels like a freaking phone game to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and Little I Town, do recall, Little Town um, Heroes is not on a... On my channel, not... like a couple of years ago, I was saying, we're going to see more mobile games on Switch, and here we are. Mm, mm. New dungeon RPG. Uh, yeah, no, nothing new, man. New Super Nintendo. Uh, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 Asia compilation will come in English language. Oh, option. So the Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 Asian compilation will come with English uh, language as an option. So if you do not want to wait for it, uh, it launches uh, September. Hold on, on the direct. I'm sorry. It launches in Japan September 27th. Uh, so it's going to have the English um, language trans uh, translated stuff, which is kind of stupid. They should just release it all at the same time. But the Asia compilation has a English uh, language option. So if you don't want to wait, go on your Japanese account and download it. That's dope. I did not know that. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing What's else. Uh, over there? Uh, I don't know if you missed it, but the uh, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3, the, the the digital version for the Asian compilation one will have English uh, language option. comes out September 27th. So if you don't want to wait, you can just go play those now uh, when they come out. Boy. That's dope. Hold on. That's kind of it. There is really nothing else for the roundup. Uh... Oh wait, uh, Fairy Tales getting an RPG um, for the Switch uh, comes out worldwide 2020. Hmm. Uh, Kui Tecmo is dropping it. Yeah, that's it, man. There's there's really nothing else. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Um. Is there anything else that you wanted to touch on before we uh, close this? Because the roundup shouldn't be as long as the podcast. I think I may have lost Takun or he walked away from the computer or something like that. Yo, Takun, you there? Up. Oh. Well, everybody, I don't want anyone sitting around just uh, waiting randomly. Uh, it's your boy DC, uh, Dark Cloud Sun. You've got Takoon. I don't know where he went. His character's not moving. He probably ran off somewhere real quick. Uh, let's see if he comes back. We'll wait a minute or two uh, while I re up. Uh, drop that off. Drop that off. What else do I have? Ooh, drop that off. Drop that off. Uh, drop that off. Drop that off. Alright. Take items. Take potions. Fill up. Alright, what else? Whoop. Take mega potions. I had no idea I had any of those. What else am I missing? Bomb wise. Barrel. 
Route one. I could hold on. Did I make like a a set? Uh item set. Current set. I don't know if I ever made a set. Uh current set. Oh, I did make sets. Alright, hold on, go back. Swap out for this. Boom. Uh, insufficient on dash juice. I don't have any dash juice. Let's see if I can create some right quick. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Combo list dash. Uh, I never made dash juice. Bro, noobin' in here. Alright, people. Uh, it's your boy DC. Uh, again, Takun, hit the like, subscribe button, and please, everyone, again, like I said before, to help the channel grow, I did make dash juice, I just don't have any rare steak. Um, again, if you want to see the channel grow, um, we're going to still continue to upload on this channel. Um, I'm going to give this channel a hard six months of dedicated focus. I'm still going to be on my other channel. As a matter of fact, I'll be streaming, um... Damn, I'm going to be on the computer a lot. I need to go do something with my kids. But I will be playing either Sunday or tom uh, tomorrow or Monday after I get my MRI on Monday. I'm going to be playing Gears 5 on the original channel um, and Monster Hunter World with Takoon on my per on my uh, Darkline 1983 channel. All right, people, I'm going to end this here. Again, thank you for stopping in to the uh, Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Weekly Roundup chat between me and Takoon. Um, stay tuned for next week, Saturday um, at 7.30 p.m. or 8 o'clock for the podcast. All right, people. Peace.